So the mass of anode at the start of experiment, mass of anode at the end of experiment. So always remember, okay, when we are dealing with the metal electrodes, okay, and then you have the uh, electrolyte that contains that uh, ion, the same ion from the metal ion. So what will happen is going to be, you can remember cathode will become fat, okay, and anode is going to become thin. Okay, this one you should know, yeah. So the cathode itself, okay, the copper, means we are talking about the copper. Copper is going to become fat because Cu2 plus plus two electron to give you Cu. And this one is going to be Cu to become Cu2 plus plus two electron. No need to worry about anything. So in this case, when they ask you to write the equation, okay, the equation that you need to write is just simple, you know, you just take this one, okay, and then you put it over there. That's the equation, okay. And then if you are talking about this equation, okay, that, uh, sorry, I think that one, okay, is going to be coming down, yeah? So cathode is going to become fat, yeah, this one is going to become fat. And the one that is going to become thin, okay, is going to be this one, yeah? So this one will come over here, okay? So I'll just put it here. Okay, that will be the answer. Now, calculate the mass, okay, of the copper removed from the anode. Quite simple. You have all this data, yeah? So what you need to do is going to be 100, okay, minus 98, uh, 99 point, okay, 99.87, okay? So you will get 0 0.13 gram. Very simple, okay, very simple. Now, then they ask you to calculate the quantity of charge. Yeah, this one quite simple also. Q equals to IT. Okay, so this one is 0 0.1. The time must be in uh, seconds. Okay, so 68 minutes. Okay, 68 minutes, you change into seconds. Okay, you'll get this. Okay, and the Q, okay, you are going to get the Q I have already calculated. The Q is going to be 408 columns. Okay, so 408 columns. Okay, you write down. Uh, this is the part that most of you will try to have that tendency to use whatever that we have learned and so on, you put over there. No, no need to do that. Okay, you just use the relationship between one and two. You see, 408 columns, okay, is going to remove 0 0.13 gram, okay, of copper. Okay, so one mole of copper is, okay, is given 63.5 gram. So I need to know, okay, what is going to be the charge for 63.5 gram? Use your maths, okay? So one gram is going to be 408, okay, columns divided by 0 0.13. I'm looking for 63.5, so it's supposed to be 408 divided by 0 0.13 times 63.5. And I will find out, okay, what is the column, the charge required to remove one mole of copper. Okay, this one also I've done. Okay, so it's going to be uh, 199294. Okay, I'll just try to take this. Okay, I'll copy and then put it over there. Okay, this is going to be the answer. And this is going to be the answer. Okay, for the charge. And then we know that Okay, this one is going to be copper, it's anode, right? So it's copper to give you copper two plus, plus two electron. It means when we are talking about one mole, okay, one mole over here, one mole, okay, in this case, this is going to be two Faraday. Okay, we know about this. So I am going to calculate for one Faraday, okay, one Faraday. It means that this is the charge, okay, to remove one mole, okay? So it means that this is for two Faraday. Okay, it means this is for two Faraday. I'm looking for one Faraday. So it's supposed to be one point uh, one nine one nine nine two nine four point seven five columns. You divide by two. Okay, when you divide by two, you will get this value. Okay, I will just paste it over here. And you will get this value. Okay, once you get this value, okay, 
Use the formula over here. If they, uh, they say that the charge of one electron, okay, is 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19. Calculate the Avogadro constant. Why? Because you see, eh, one Faraday is for one mole. Each one electron has this charge. Okay, one electron has this charge. It means that if I times with the Avogadro constant, okay, I supposed to get one Faraday. Okay, it means I can calculate what is Avogadro constant. It means what is the number of uh, electron in one mole, okay, by dividing the charges. Okay, so I can find out what is the Avogadro constant. So that's why they give you the formula. Actually, no need to even use the formula, but I just give you the formula over here. What is important over here is this one, the charge of one electron, okay? So you use the formula, you should be able to get the answer, 99647.375 columns divided by the charge of one uh, uh, electron, 1.6 times 10 negative 19, you will get the answer, okay, which is going to be your, supposed to be your Avogadro constant, okay? It means you have calculated your own Avogadro constant, okay? You calculated your own Avogadro constant, which if you go and look at it, okay, is going to be slightly similar, okay, to your actual Avogadro constant, okay? Your actual Avogadro constant is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23, this one is slightly similar, 6.228 times 10 to the power of 23. That is the command. But of course, you command with Y. Okay, Y, the, you don't get the exact answer. Okay, Wilson, can you tell us why you don't get the exact answer? It is experimental value. Okay, so it's an experimental value. So what might have gone wrong? Maybe it's a, a certain comments that you can say, maybe it's an experimental value. So what? What might affect the value is not so accurate. Christopher? The mass of the copper measured is not right. exact. Yeah, so because the copper is being lost, okay? So the mass, the copper being lost, maybe some of the copper, okay? After being lost, okay, uh, you um, you don't include them, yeah, or the mass of the anode at the end of the experiment, even though you measure that, okay, it is not the actual measurement, yeah. So because uh, they might be, okay, there might be some of the, you know, uh, some of the copper might be still there. Okay, so the mass is not being measured properly. So one of the reasons, okay. Another reason might be maybe the condition that we use is not understand the condition. Yeah, so all these experimental errors will be there, okay, contributing to why it is not the same. Yeah, so I will stop.